it's actually looking really cool. Welcome to the elevation of the game. You will encounter bugs and unpolished features. Please report the new bugs. You are also more than welcome to join the Discord and discuss feedback, to learn the game mechanics, talk with the campaign in single player. Um, yeah. We're gonna be doing a uh, single player and we're gonna be doing some of the campaign. Uh, the first song, the second song, and the custom campaign. So that is what we have here. The song of the stout heart. Um, Cecilia Stoudhard, the young Baroness of the Barony of Stoudhard, must face enemies within, uh, within and without enemies within and without to hold on to her power and protect her people. Um, Stoudhard will stand, and then there's from the ashes, free from the slave mines of Baria, Ross Today, of South Greek Flat. Okay, wait, um, that was autoplaying on YouTube. That scared me. <laughs> I thought the game was talking to me for a different moment. Anyway. Um, mm -hmm. But the dangers of March are many, and Rosk uh, must awaken the might of Rana to end the breath from the humans once and for all from ashes we rise. Anyway, I think we're going to be doing the start hard. Yeah, I'll just do start hard. It's the first song, right? We don't start off with the second song, clearly. So, a new Baroness in the year, uh, 593 AA, um, yeah, five, 593 Archangel, uh, young Cecilia Stoudhart rolls to Baroness after the untimely death of her father, um, when her shipments from Barksburg's rich mines go missing, and rumors of bandits are brought to uh, the new ruler, Cecilia leads a small force to investigate the missing resources and restore lawfulness to the Barony. That's a lot of Archangel. I know, right? Uh, okay. Silly Stoudhard, the new Baroness of the... The new Baroness of the Barony of Stoudhard was on her way to the... On her way to the uh, quarries of Lind Hills. All shipment of stone from this region had stopped and she was determined to find out why. She suspected an uprising of bandits and peasants had had already sent troops to the region to restore order. Okay. So, this is the game. We cannot actually scroll with the mouse, by the way. Yeah, there's no mouse scroll, so... Actually, you can use the middle mouse wheel button, which is what I'm used to in Hero Stream. Okay, that's cool. Then... Movement. Right-click the mouse button to set a destination for your wheel there. Wheel there? So it's not a hero, so wheel there. Okay. Right click the same destination to again to move. It's actually like right mouse click instead of left mouse click of heroes. So that's already like a little bit confusing to me. It's more like a worker free style than hero style, you know, like a RGS game. FPS seems really bad? Mm, not really. Oh, it might be for you guys because I'm using window capture instead of game capture. Let me try and get this game on window capture. One moment. If I do it on game capture, it should seem way better for you. Ah, uh, there we go. Now it's on game capture. Oh, uh, yes. Um, Gallows, source of knowledge. Then what else do we have? Okay, let's go to Gallows. Uh, by the way, what the... I'm gonna go into the screen. Wielder Shield. The Wielder Shield gives you a, an overview of your wielder. This is where you can check your skills, powers, inventory, equipment, and modifiers. Okay, so we have like uh, item slots and an inventory. The inventory seems to be like pretty small unless you can scroll in. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wildish. <laughs> Wait, actually that's a lot of stats. I guess they're gonna be like less influential. Like one side is gonna be like worth less than it otherwise would be. And then we have skills. So these are gonna be like secondary skills, I guess. And there's like powers? Okay. Troop modifiers, melee resistance, melee offense, range offense, defense. Okay. Is this based on the stats over here, I wonder? Civilization, plus one order. Temporary equipment modifiers, okay. Oh, the troops are providing me this. Oh, because of the essence, I think. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, how do I check my army? Like, is there like an army overview screen? Spells, whoa. Oh, I have a stacked hero, basically, I think. Yeah, so this hero is probably like stacked up. No, she's level one though. Uh, okay. Why read? Go play. Hi. 
usually like reading some. Okay, let's go play. Oh. Source of Riches. Uh, Dead Commander, Source of Riches. Okay. So everything that you hover is going to be basically providing you with a source. By the way, I ended the turn by pressing E, which is very comfortable to me. That's what I always do. This game accepts that. Nice. Uh, the Dead Commander was uh, were standard colors, and the, the distinctive sign of Carvus uh, reserves stolen or... Wait. Stolen ore was one thing, but an uprising against that hard truce was more serious. Okay. Oh, I can actually choose a dagger. An old artifact's fun body. It could prove useful in time to come or sold for gold. I'll get the dagger. Auto equip, okay. Um And you see like it uh, influences everything here. Uh-huh. Nice. Let's go. Uh, 1,000 gold, not bad. Uh, sure. Round three. So in terms of rounds... Opa! What is that? Some wounded soldiers appeared from the forest and snapped uh, to attention. This was Cecilia's Corvus uh, Reserves and they had clearly seen combat recently. Hail, Baroness. The Corvus Reserves await your command. Lieutenant, you've seen some combat. What's the situation and the status of the mines? Our scouts detected the hostiles about Milady. The gold mine to the south has been seized by rebels. We also encountered an especially well armed force at Flint Hills to the west. We took heavy casualties and were forced to retreat. How alarmed. The armed peasants and with tools, these armed peasants with tools and knives, they have crossbows and swords, and bandless knights ride with them. This is no peasant uprising. Someone thinks we weak and seeks to take advantage of my father's death to steal more than a few shipments of ore. We must uphold the laws and show them the error of their ways. Gather the troops. We march for Flint Hills. Okay. Mass move. Decide what troops you want to move to your wheel there. Oh, so I can press mass move to just move them on and then done. Okay, got it. Uh, can I click on objectives in order to find them? And yeah, these kind of objectives, this just I this actually feels like um It feels like a a very a slightly different type of game. It's like Heroes 3, but it's also made for like to be like a one hero RPG at the same time. So that's actually be really cool. I like that. Uh can be recruited when they are return. Okay, I'll take the the Rangers, I think. That seems pretty good. By the way, can you make one stacks? Oh, you can actually. No? I think, you I think you can. Yeah, you see? You can make one stack. That's... But you only have like three slots of army, so... It's not as relevant. Anyway, let's make a one stack. Source of power. Okay. Um, resting for a while, but it's waterfall. It integrate... Oh yeah, integrate the troops. Okay, nice. Chat is hiding objectives. Oh, okay. Let's turn off chat for now. Sure. You see? Oh, so it actually like gets you to know how hard the fight will be. Let's see if the one tech is going to be any good. Stand out. This fight belongs to the barony of Stardard. It belongs to me. We will do no such thing. You would be wise to go back to your castle and prepare for a storm. There's one coming, I gather. The only storm getting here is me. Prepare yourselves. Shoot deployment. Okay. Um, high ground. Uh, on the deployment screen, you can uh, rearrange your troops before they enter in the battle. You can only um, you can only place troops on tiles with your team color. Uh, the tiles are elevated high ground. Give bonus to offense and defense to both melee and range creatures. Range troops can target any enemy within their range and within their deadly range. They will inflict the double damage. There's low line of sight. The only limit uh, is how far the weapons reach, but no, you can increase your range by moving to the high ground. Alright. Is that the one stuck over here? Oh, is that this? Wait, what is this? Why is there like only random hexes? By the way, how do, can I tell a high ground? I guess there's like no high ground in this fight. I think this is gonna be decent. Try the combination, it'll control the delete. What the hell? 
At the top? What? Wait, this is a high ground. Well, I mean, they have it. I guess I don't. Oh well. Uh, in the battle, your goal is to kill all the enemy units. Your wielder, or the enemy wielder, is not present on the battlefield, but acts as a spellcaster from behind the lines. In order of the... Uh, oh, the order of battle follows the battle queue, which is based on each troop's initiative. You can control a troop on their battle turn. Use to move the... To move and target enemy troops. Hovering an enemy troop will... With your cursor will provide an attack preview. Using left click on any troop will give you full display of the, the troop information. Okay. Oh, actually, the, the high ground was here. Wait, how could I have tell? Oh, wait, how do you tell the high ground? How could I have known? Oh, by the way, that's actually a lot of them. Am I going in? More spells available. Your wielder has gained essence. And more spells are available to cast now. If your wielder has enough essence, you can cast multiple spells uh, on each of your troops' as battle turns. Um, each battle turn, your troops gives your wielder essence. It can be used for spell casting. Okay. I can use protection, and I can use quicken, initiative, and troop movement. Uh, let's actually cast it on my on these guys, so they can actually shoot faster before they shoot me. Oh, well, we can actually block. Wait. Can we block them? I want to go here and attack them. How? What? Oh, they're on the high ground. Wait, I have to go here? To the spikes? What? No, why can't I just move? Oh, next round? Huh. Wait, what? Oh, I end, I end the turn? Is that it? Am I supposed to end the turn? I'm pro, by the way. Well, yeah, I'm oh, pro, not God, he was a conquest pro, now am I? Okay, um, seems like I was supposed to end the turn. Alright, outside range. Oh, everything is outside the range, okay. I guess I'll... Opa! Boo! Oh. Oh, they're actually, yeah, they're moving and they're better retreating at the same time. That's pretty... Zone of control. Your troops enter the uh, an enemy true zone of control. If you move out of, uh, if you move out of or through this area, the enemy troops gain an attack of opportunity, a free melee attack. Okay. Okay. Let's hop onto the high ground and kill this guy. Oh, that was your zone of opportunity, whatever. I wonder if they can shoot if, if you block them. Is that how ranginess work? Okay. The animations are very fluid. Opa! Look at that guy! Victory! Songs of Mind of Magic. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, level up wielder. Uh, leveling up wielder is all about passive skills and powers. You can choose either upgrade a skill your wielder already knows or learn a new skill, so that's like your stream. Um, or increase the wielder's ability to command the troops by unlocking more slots in their army. Oh, I see. Improve skill, new skill, upgrade command. Alright, alright. So there's an extra option. Currently I have like three armor slots and I can actually get another. I don't know how retaliations work. I don't know how... Um, the sphere of influence works still. I don't know if it's actually worthwhile to have one stacks. I think it might be if I have like range units to protect, possibly. Uh, yeah. So I can do. I can prove guard, uh, which will give me melee resistance. I can do positioning, which will give me range resistance. Well, I can do command. I'll just actually upgrade the guard. Okay, then I can go out and go my merry way. It seems I don't need a castle in order to survive, like in Hero's Dream. Mm, okay. Uh, Cecilia was no ordinary commander. She was a wielder and could drop on the essence of her troops to weave mighty spells. Mm, okay. Oh. 
Old Battlefield. Walk into Old Battlefield. Inspires caution. Plus one to defense minus ten offense. All right. Duration one battle. Old camp source of riches. Okay. Uh, militia. These are different kind of shooters than what I currently have, right? Yeah, it is. Um, troop size twelve. Max troop size. Oh yeah. Uh, this is mass troop. Mass troop size. This, huh? They have more initiative than my rangers. What about the damage? One to three, two to three. So militia have more initiative, but less move and less damage. Okay. Uh, source of power. Source of power. Wait, uh, I couldn't take the footman because I didn't have command. And I think I just gained an RT2. Um, okay. Wider. <laughs> Fine. Uh, 100 GB years ago, the Empire of Aurelius spanned the whole, uh, spanned the whole world. Statues of the Empress can still be found so spread across uh, Arleon, and many folk uh, speak dreamily of the golden years of Aurelian. Um, okay. Uh, this is visiting. All right. It's a little bit hard to actually tell what's an objective on the map and what is not. Mm, that, that's probably just like a little bit of getting used to you. Mm -hmm. Armed peasants. You best be gone, young Stoutheart. Flynn Hills are freelance now. Three. If you to be attacked by bandits and pillaged by other uh, baronies, we will protect you, uh, the people. You? Why not? As you can see, we are quite well armed. I can see that, but I caution you to think carefully before your next actions. Put down your weapons. Answer my questions. I'll be merciful. Or stand unlawfully against me. And my sword will deliver justice. Now, who armed you? One good, in one of good intentions. I've seen uh, Stalhar Mercy when old Lord Hammond was decapitated by your father. Now turn back. It brings me no pleasure to turn my sword uh, upon my subjects, but unlawful acts will not be tolerated. Stalhard will stand. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see the high ground now. Okay, I can see it. I can see it now. Okay. Are you proud of me? Hmm. Cure blind. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna be running in. I can see their like line of influence. Um, you see that it's like multiple like layers. It's range, deadly range. Actually, wait, what are these uh, four lines? I can only tell like three apart, right? What? What is? Hmm. Mic check. Uh, what up? Has moved. Wait, but. Yeah, I think it's holding it. Outside of my range. I can kill those. Mm, two to four. Yeah, that will do. Okay, they're making sure to retreat quite a bit. Um, now that guy's in the deadly range, which is uh, pretty bad, of course. Reloading? Wait, what? Re, re what? Reload. Troop can perform one range attack, then use a turn for reload. Okay, no wonder you're trash. You're garbage. Uh huh. Okay, wait, so how do I. Okay, I know how now. Nice. Oh, bad! Retaliation got him. Okay. That must be a Russian archer. All technology has to reload every turn. Yeah. True. Does retail re I believe maybe. Uh huh. I think that range units are gonna be kind of king here. Or maybe not. I mean, if this is gonna be like some fast guys, then I can see that not being the case necessarily. Ooh. 
Battleless Knights, they seem to be... Oh, it seems there are a number between 1 and 25. That's actually a pretty wide range now. What the hell? I mean, I guess I'm supposed to go here now. As the city's troops approached the Flint Hills, a well-known force of soldiers wearing no ban barony color came out to meet them. Nice, archers, you know ordinary ban bandit force. I've always wanted to kill a wielder. You wouldn't be the first upstart knight I've defeated. Opa! I have some like some pretty good fortifications, yeah. I'm gonna play like this. Uh-huh. Okay, so they have like way more initiative than I do. I'm gonna be blocking the high ground here. Outside range, really? I cannot. Fine. This guy, yeah, this one will be fine. Ah, uh, the cavalier looking dude here is pretty strong. Oh my god, they're really, really fast, yeah. Okay, I'll hit. Opa! Okay, they're not really that good. Hmm, I'll actually just move back. And as long as I can kill the archers, then they're gonna be the ones forced to move into me. And I'll keep my high ground. Oh, okay. When you get, like, used to the controls, then the battle, like, flows very well, actually. I would kill... most of these, I think, yeah. There we go. BAH! Yo, what now? Victory. I can't see shit going on. Oh, damn. Okay, well, um... That's a fair point. Not bad. Let's see. Apex Sword? Oh. Road Sign. Apostle Movement. Uh, okay. And it's consumable? No, you can, like, redo it. Alright. A crowd of peasants led by a uh, village elder came out to greet Cecilia as her force entered the... Uh, uh, Flint Hill. I defeated the rebels and restored Flint Hill to the protection of Stoutheart, as is my duty. Now, who among you... Uh, will tell me what happened. Um, those knights and their soldiers appeared recently and armed all the local troublemakers. They seized our quarries and mines and started sending the shipments south towards uh, Barksbury, where their patron waits. And none of you stood against them? None of you sent word to the local warden? Or to Springhold? No, the lady. We were afeared for our lives. We sent a messenger to Hope's Glade to warn them and ask for help, but the messenger never returned. Remember this moment the next time you are made uh, the offer of independence. I will always protect the barony from press within and without. And without? I mean, from press within and outside? No? Join my forces together and we will restore uh, this territory. Restore order to this territory. Will he the call the arms of Stoutheart? As we did for your father before you, there are able-bodied recruits and the peasants, huh? Okay. This is Psalm 8, unless she was playing it. Um, yeah. Can you please try using different voices for different unit types? <laughs> hmm. Perhaps, maybe. Um... Wait, so blacksmiths, also power peasants, hut, the uh, farmhouse. It's just like a village. It's just like what a town will be like. No, I don't think there's actually like a town. These are like just some a uh, combination of external like dwellings and whatnot. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Like I'll actually just get them. Peasants at neutral. Farmhouse claim. Archer's Helm? Wait, uh, what about my artifacts? What about the hero? Plus for defense. Plus for defense. Uh, and dagger for plus one offense. Okay. Uh, that seems fine. Okay, so now I'm getting like resources, right? Mm hmm. Cozy Tavern. A. Uh, sure. 
So I'll be moving out. The next objective is to go like over here somewhere. All right, let's go. One Hero Gaming. Uh, yeah. Ninja Stables, so it seems. A small band of Cecilia Scouts stood waiting along the roadside. Lady Stoutheart, Corporal Greenwood, we've come from your warden. A Bilgia of uh, Forniclyphy. As per your command, your troops are concealed at the forest edge. Corporal, this is not the forest edge. These troops are camped uh, within the uh, Tenderweald. You may have disturbed the uh, Defy. It's like so many new words, but it's actually kind of hard to wrap my head around it. But I guess that's going to be like confusing for every single new game. So, the Fame Lady, surely the Fae are only a myth. Superstitions uh, for, for the country folk. Did my ancestors sign a covenant, covenant with mytho mythological creatures? The law of the leaves still stands and we must make a sacrifice to break the peace. Or break the peace. Consider what we must forfeit to the forest, beings uh, to atone for your error. Okay. Do a girl voice. Chat voice? Girl voice. Hmm. How the hell would I do a girl voice? Um, wait, maybe I can try. Mythological voice. I wait your judgment. My life is yours. You're dead. <clears throat> Dude, she looks she looks like she would have a guy voice anyway, okay? Your death would serve no one. If I remember my history, there's all an offering tree southwest of here. Join up, Corporal. No, that's like chat voice. Nah, that's chat voice. That doesn't work at all. Ah. <sighs> I need all my troops, even the ones who make mistakes. Your loyal servant, Lady Stoutheart. Okay, so that was Corporal Greenwood. I have rangers now, but I have like no army slots for the sake of that. Ah. Oh, no. I do. Okay. Nice. New objective, investigate Hope's Glade. It's over here. Okay, let's do that. Uh, seems good. I don't have place for the militia, so... Um, that's that. I have like full army already. Well, I mean, I guess I could use a few footmen, but whatever. Opa. 1 in 25 in number. That's like a pretty bizarre amount of like difference. There's a bunch of gold over there. Ah, I don't need it. Let's go. Imagine got kicked in nuts and you're. And you're all good. I'm not doing that. Face uh, flying creatures uh, of the uh, Thunderweald, with bat like wings, long claws, and sharp teeth, uh, swooped and buzzed before the offering tree. They wore strange masks and screeched at Cecilia and her troops. Uh, humans be gone. Uh, we wish to leave an offering for our trespass uh, on the forest, as it is stated in the ancient covenant between us. Stand aside, little spirits. I would do my duty. No humans! No humans! Not ever! Spirits, do not trifle with me. I am Stardard, and by the and by the agreements, I seek to make amend. If you make... If you continue to impede my passage to the offering tree, I will draw arms and put you out of your misery. Uh, your misery! Misery! So be it. Okay. Um... There's a little bit of high ground over here. Oh, actually, there's a lot of high ground in the middle. Uh, thankfully for me, they're not ranged, I think. So, um, yeah, we can just go. Better. I'm petting her. Meow. Stop. Stop, Alicia. They're petted. The cat is crying now. These guys are really fast, though. And they also have the high ground. It's over for me. I should be able to just go in and kill them. They don't seem strong. Uh, the damage is actually 8 to 12. That's a lot. But only... Wait, what? That's ridiculous. Do you see what I see? They, they have only 6 HP. But they damage. They have damage 8 to 12. So they have like double the damage of their HP. Is that lot? Is that reasonable? How much HP do I have? I have 6 health, 2 to 4 damage. Okay. So I have like half the damage of my health. That seems more reasonable. Yeah, they deal like the same amount of damage, it seems. Yeah, like full, full glass cannon units over here. Wait, that means that when they attack me, I'm just gonna die. Oh my god! 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Chain lighting materials, yeah. I like if the units are gonna be like super well themed like that. I think I'm on command right now. Opa, boots. If they're worn though, I want new boots. Stone circle, plus 10 offense, plus 10 defense, uh, plus 2 movement, duration 1 battle. I need to make an offering too now. Wait, what? I can't, why can't I go here? Oh yeah, okay, cool. Uh, the boots give me plus one movement, plus one view radius. Oh yeah, of course you can see way better. I mean, I'm so short, the boots actually give me like a su substantial amount of height, so I can actually like see something in the horizon. Easy. Uh, the offer tree was uh, the most unusual tree Cecilia had ever seen. Her friend, Vilja of Forncliffe, uh, had described them once, but it had not done them justice. The branches were smooth and glossy, and seemed to be lit from within. The leaves tinkled like tiny bells in the breeze, and most in common, the tree gave off uh, the aroma of warm spice cider. What? I wasn't reading! Okay. I I didn't click, I swear. Uh, the Fair of the Forest, uh, Fair of the Forest, for trespass upon your woods, we offer compensation for these phase spirits I uh, slain. I ask forgiveness. They could not be reasoned with. Let our peace be everlasting. 1,000 gold? Fine. So greedy, it's a mage. Plus three offense, plus three defense. Is that like permanent or like what is going on? Yeah, offering tree, offering tree. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is this? Okay, waterfall is good. I have gold over here too. Arcway runes. Did I go here already? I don't think I did. Uh, as Cecilia examined the strange arc, she noticed that it almost so that it was almost warm to the touch and vibrantly. Vibrated slightly. It's shimmering, my Papa Happy. She studied many strange ruins uh, from the times of early, but never one that seemed to be so alive. Okay. Oh, that's XP, okay. Sure. What about the loot next to the chest? What? Oh? Huh? You forgot something. Uh... Wait, forgot something next chest. Wait, what? Legendary loot. What? Here? The chest was here, no? Oh, like here. Oh, okay, I see now. Wait, you guys are very... You guys notice things, huh? For being zero rated than Hero 3, you can actually play games, huh? Alright, alright, I see. You're just blind. I'M NOT BLIND! <laughs> Ugh. Uh, guarding uh, the road was the large force of mercenaries hailing from the merchant states of Baria. Barian mercenaries. Turn back, the road is open for our shipments from Flindels only. I see you're strangers to these lands, or you would know me as the lawful Baroness Stoutheart. I do not recall the declaration of war from the Barian city-states. Therefore, you are thieves and trespassers. What other crimes shall I add to the list? We commit no crimes. We are honorable mercenaries here on contract and merely following orders. I spit on your contracts. Damn. Um, you have my ore. Therefore, you are thieves. You will return it. Tell me who hired you. And maybe I will ransom you back to your employers. We are not afraid to fight you, Stoutheart. But be warned, our contract states that no one wearing Stoutheart colors are to be spared on the battlefield. Um, of course, if you um, turn around now, we can avoid this battle. Never. You shall be treated as thieves and trespassers, and my sword will deliver justice for breaking uh, our laws. Then, unfortunately, we must battle. Alright. I want to be next to the high ground, and I'll be defending the high ground as well. Um, yeah, let's go.
I'm gonna be defending. Oh wait, uh, what kind of units are these? Uh, 35 damage, 9 health. So they're gonna be like swordsmen. Uh, they're pretty good, way better than my units, but there's gonna be... My ring superiority should be pretty fine. I should wait. I should go high ground with these as well. Yeah, high ground for sure. Uh, these guys will have to rest. That's fine. Ooh, they have two range, by the way. They can hit me from a fight. That's like... Ah, uh, that's something. Opa! That's damage. Make sure you head down and hit her. Oh, so they block me? Oh, yeah, so there's they, actually is the mechanical blocking ranged creatures. Okay, I'm learning. Actually, I do like so much damage on these. Opa! Open casino for every battle. What, do you think I will lose? What up, Ken? Okay. Oh, troops lost, troops lost. Okay. Level 4. Uh, do I want to have more command? Maybe not. I kind of want Dark Archer. It seems pretty good. Yeah. Opa, is this a town? No, probably not. The silly troops search the smoker remains of Hove's Glade, looking for survivors. The townsfolk had clearly put up a fight, and for that they had suffered. From the rubble, they heard a moan, and they uncovered a badly injured militiaman. Lady Stoddard, we held as long as we could. We had to retreat. They were too strong. Who did this? Barians. A troop of Barian mercenaries marched on, on towards the bark sperm. But it were knights that attacked us. Men of Arleon, setting fire to our homes, taking no surrender. All we could do was flee. To the hills north of here. The wooden man tried to speak, then fell limb. His, eye gla his eyes glazed over as the last sliver of strength left his body. F. His essence as in um, the wind, but Stoutheart still stands. Come, there are survivors here yet. Let's search the hills before we journey south to Barkspur. It is, it's time to put an end to this. Don't say Bereans, it's Berean. Okay, collector stuff, I see. Thank you for that. No survivors remain. Okay, some resources though. No survivors, such. As they reached the top of the hill, they found a sturdy tavern and the sauce and the suit covered, injured, and scared survivors of Olves Glade. From among them, a mineral stood and greeted Cecilia. Hail! Do my eyes deceive? Uh, the Baroness of Stoddard, the Grand Reprieve. Uh, if you mean to avenge the, these fall knights, then we brave souls will join your fight. Uh, and with your aid, Stoddard will stand, returning peace and order to the land. Uh, okay. Uh, opa! Look at these guys! Uh, so what did these do? Max group size 60, they did 24 damage, shelf 7, so they're like pretty tanky. Um, they have a good melee uh, offense. They give me Chaos and Creation Essence, status Human and Musician. Ability, Fear No Foe, plus our defense to Friendly. Okay. So they increase my... They're gonna go, they're gonna be going to war with me? Alright, bro. Alright. Okay, and because the tavern will let me move more, that's pretty good. Um, I'll get the gloves. Mm. All right, bars are awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a town. Uh, gazing across the lake, Cecilia saw the settlement of Barkspur. It was clearly occupied by another force of the Barion mercenaries. This one led by Wilder. She readied her soldiers for the final battle to retake this region. Okay. Stone mist. Opa! 
on the Mander Breeze. Oh, you think you'd take me? Oh, no. You're never going to take me. Okay. Uh, we have quite a bit of, um... I think we're gonna be having, like, some range in the supremacy. So we need to, like, stay back. Uh... I probably should be on one side. So both my melee stacks can protect my range stacks. I think it's gonna be easier to do over here. Dude, the stone. Who cares about some stone? We're having a battle. Oh, bah, dude, what the hell are those? Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Am I gonna get her? Am I ever gonna get a turn? Musketeers. Okay, so they need to reload, so that's good. They have 70 HP, their damage is 3 to 5. Um, okay, what are these guys? The Jig of the Jugs. No, the Jig of Jugs. Alright, so that's why they can move first, because they have like a bunch of initiative from those guys. Pipers, by the way. Damage 1 to 2, health 6. Dude, these guys are pretty tanky. Alright. I think this will be. We can just E. These guys are outside the range. That's whatever, though. Tuned, what the hell is that? Tuned? Oh, by the way, I'm not casting spells recently. I should be casting spells too, right? I think I want to quicken these guys. So if I move within their range, they will actually hit me. So by running away, I actually get hit anyway. That's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, bah! All of these are gone. Damn. Okay, these guys cannot do anything. That's fine. Hey! Strong. Okay. Okay. Uh, plus 95 experience, it seems. After the battle, a beaten Nimander Breeze is brought before Cecilia. Real dear, we appeal to your honor and beg that we may negotiate a surrender. I am Nimander Breeze of Quar's Battalion and a stranger to these parts. I concede the, the field and will withdraw my forces. You're indeed a stranger, barbarian, or you wouldn't know by my colors that I am Cecilia Stoddard. Was it your weapons that armed the, the bandits who caused the uprising at my mines? That there was a misunderstanding, my lady. We were led to believe our employer uh, that they had a lawful claim on these lands. When we realized our betrayal, we had already signed the contract by the mercenary code. We could not withdraw our services. Reveal to me your employer and your plans. If I'm satisfied with your answer, I will spare you. But every Baryan of your company must still leave my lands immediately. It was Lady Hammond that hired us. The Topaz Battalion is sent um, to recover Ashbourne. Uh, we are grateful for your mercy, Lady Stoddard. May this deal bring good fortune to each party. The information is adequate. I will spare life and instead send you to prison in Castle Everkeep. There you may contemplate uh, that honor might be worth more than gold. Corporal, this is your chance to redeem yourself for your error in uh, Tenderweald. Uh, take two squads and transfer Captain Nemander uh, Breeze to Everkeep until we can arrange his, uh, for his ransom. You can depend upon me, Lady Stoutheart. Okay. Victory! Hey! Uh, with Box Raider stored to, to Stardust's rule of law, Cecilia gathered her troops once more and set out to pursue the Paz Battalion and prevent the occupation of Ashburn. With this, she would need the aid of Vilja of Forncliff, Warden of Stardhard, and Cecilia's longtime friend. Okay. Conviction rose Cecilia of stout heart 
To crush rebellions and push back another upstart Lady Helen claimed her settlement Settle it We begin You sing along with the song like that. What do you mean? I I would ruin it completely. Like absolutely. All right. Uh that is actually beautiful. Yeah. Witcher Freed and Dalian dot approves. Mhm. Mm okay. Not bad. Not bad. Uh settle in, settle in. Uh yep. Okay. Uh I might be playing more on stream. I might not be. I'm not really sure. But um, what I know for sure is that for today, I'm going to be done. I'm not sure when I'm going to be playing more, but yeah. For now, I thank you all for watching. And till next time. Bye-bye. Ciao-ciao. Till next. The game actually looks really, really fluid, by the way. I like it.